the Equal Opportunity Laws actually started with the president signing them into law, President Johnson. And if you girls know anything about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., he was the catalyst to making it actually come into place. And the EEOC, which is Equal Opportunity Commission, is the product of the signatures for EEO laws. And those laws were to make everybody treat each person fairly. So you have Title VII, which covers race, color, sex, national origin. Race would be what black, white, um, or other. Color is the complexion of your skin. If somebody's treating you differently because of the complexion of your skin. National origin deals with your place of birth. So I'm an American. If you're born here, you're an American as well. Age is Age Discrimination Employment Act. And that deals with people who are 40 years and older. And they put that in place because they were finding out that companies were trying to force people who were older out of their job. And they wanted them gone because they cost more money. So that law came into place for them. Disability Act covers people who have an impairment and they need some kind of an accommodation. So if you have a learning disability or if you have an, a disability where you can't see very well or you can't move very well, your company has been told by law that they are required to make sure that they make every effort to help you do whatever your job is because of the EEO laws. Then you have the law that protects you against complaining about an employer mistreating you, and that's called retaliation. And that also falls under the umbrella of the EEO. Now for us as girls, the EEO laws, Equal Employment Opportunity Laws, impacted us because one of the main ones that enforces and helps us is the one that's based on gender. And that means that at one point we couldn't get jobs. More importantly, our pay was less. So one of the things that came about as a part of that law was to make sure that we were treated equitably to male counterparts who were doing the same or similar job. And more recently, there was a law that was extended by President Obama for Lily Ledbetter. That's what it's called under her name because it was found out that women were still getting paid less than their male counterparts, but they were doing the same work. And we weren't finding them out until we happened to see somebody's paycheck. So that law was extended so you can now, from the day that you find out you're being paid less than your male counterparts, you can retroactively have the company look into it, and if it's found that they aren't paying you favorably to your male counterparts, they are required to go back and compensate you for all of that lost pay that you did not get. So that's one of the good things that impacts us as females 100%.